the first time I heard the word Parkinson's, let's just say the head drooped and the tears flowed. You go through the why me, why me. I was just angry with the world. When I first heard that diagnosis, my world was like a mirror that is falls on a concrete floor and you are shattered in a million pieces and you don't know where to start to put the pieces back together again. I knew something was wrong with me and I didn't understand what was going on. And when I got the diagnosis, then it was easier to cope with life because I had a specific things to fight against. There's nothing you can do about the disease, but exercise will ameliorate it a little bit so that you manage better. And I think that's very true. Parkinson's is probably one of the most misunderstood diseases out there. And one thing with Parkinson's is that it's a big umbrella and they call it Parkinsonism. So it's a very individual disease, but because it attacks your muscles, you gotta stay strong. Exercise has been a, a savior for me. I, fortunately, I've always exercised, so I'm not somebody that had to start from ground zero. I found circuit training for people with Parkinson's. Pretty intense workout. It's definitely uh, a lot to do with the mentality because it makes the left and the right brain work together. It also prevents you from freezing. Freezing means that the weight gets stuck in the center of their feet and they're unable to move, they get stuck. So some of our movements that we do is that we strengthen the muscles on the sides of the legs so that they can actually keep strong and so that their gait stays wider. A lot of times with Parkinson's, they tend to come into this flex position. So what we want to do is we want to power them up. We want them to stay open. So the exercises that we did against the wall and actually starts to really create that openness through the body. A lot of our movements are also for range of motion. I find that people, as they get older, whether you have Parkinson's disease or not, we tend to lose the rotation in the body. And that is one thing that we really need to have as we get older as well. You have to keep strong, and once you can understand how important that is, the better off you're gonna be. The idea of Parkinson's disease is, uh, or what it is, is actually a very complex disease. You know, there's a big difference in, between people with Parkinson's and how they uh, present with the disease, with the symptoms. Well, physical activity seems to be an important aspect of uh, helping the, the Parkinson's disease. If I get exercise, I feel a lot better. If I don't get exercise, I feel a heck of a lot worse. I've always been fairly active in, in life. We did a lot of hiking and fishing and camping, uh, equestrian riding, whitewater kayaking. I, I did triathlons until I was age 75. Well, it impacts the family, that's for sure. That the kids always would be doing things with them and now I can't do things with them and that's, I think they find that frustrating. And when I got the diagnosis, what other things I've done for um, doing, getting exercise was to take part in this uh, non-contact boxing. Boxing is a kind of exercise that challenges your body to coordinate its efforts and and so the boxing has certainly been uh, doing that and then found that that was a really good way to get some good exercise. That work of boxing training helps them with the fluency of their movement. 
So going under the rope is kind of changing balance and changing levels. So shifting weight from one foot to the other. The changing of directions, four steps forward, four steps sideways, four steps forward, four steps in a circle. All that stuff gets them into doing something they might never have done before and they find interesting anyway. And it kind of takes them in a place where they are completely focusing into something that they're enjoying. It makes you concentrate and work hard to get some coordination. It sort of makes me feel like the old you, that I'm taking and participating in doing something that I used to do, and I can struggle and you know, try hard to do it, and it's fulfilling from that standpoint. I love Byron because he really is somebody who applies himself over 100%. And I really believe that it has helped him. Yeah, he feels that way too. Before I was diagnosed, I didn't feel right. It was like there was a fog in my brain sometimes. They did an MRI, they did all kinds of tests. And then when I ended up at the neurologist office, he did five tests and within five minutes, he could diagnose me. Some people have no tremors. Some people have a lot of tremors and have difficulty with eating. I take medication now every two and a half hours. But medication alone isn't gonna solve all the symptoms. So to me, uh, you, you have to do your part. You have been given this challenge it's very unfortunate, but feeling sorry for yourself is not an option for me. So I had to find a way to cope and deal with this. I couldn't run anymore, but I could do other things. So I created a different world for myself. When I go to Rona's class, I may be very tired, but I always come out feeling better. There is a connection between physically activity and feeling better about yourself. Because you have the feeling of, hey, I've done, I've done it, I did that. I didn't know I could do that. And even after 13 years, I discover new things almost every day. Here we go. I discovered boxing and I love it and, and it's fun. It, it, that's what I didn't know. It's, it's actually fun to just give it a punch and uh, challenge yourself. I am aware that the more frequently I do my exercises, I will stay flexible. But it doesn't matter how much you exercise a day, you wake up the next morning and you are stiff all over again. But then the next morning you get up and you start again. When you're dealing with a disease, you have to deal with both the physical aspect of it and the mental aspect of it. The, the mental part is probably one of the most important parts. After a while, it gets a bit tiresome, so you just get tired of putting up with it and putting up with the deficiencies that it creates in your life. I had a phase where I thought, once I was a somebody and now I'm a nobody. Well, that has gone out the window. That's not true. You may feel that way, because you're living a more quieter life. But I love my life the way it is now. You have a choice to curl up or get out and fight it and be an advocate and be proactive and do what you gotta do. So every day I do the battle cry in the mirror, bring it on, bring it on, bring it on. And I just mentally prepare myself every day. I don't think any exercises will stop the symptoms from creeping forward. Hopefully they're prolonging the progression of Parkinson's disease. These people amaze me. I'm gonna cry. 
If there's one thing I know about these people is they don't want the disease to progress. They will do whatever they need to do. And they are an amazing support group for one another. If somebody comes in with something going on, there's always somebody there to listen. When, when Parkinson came to visit me, with it came all these new faces of people, beautiful people, wonderful people, that I would have never met otherwise. One of the problems, too, is that you tend to crawl in a hole and, st and stay there, and it's, you have to force yourself to get out and do things. The nice part about being in contact with other people is that uh, it helps you develop a little bit of confidence, but you can discuss things with them that you couldn't do with other people because you got the same problems. We're all in that boat and we're all warriors getting through the disease together and it just makes us stronger. Parkinson's, when you're diagnosed with it, I, I make it very clear to the new ones that are di it's not a death, it's not death, it's not a death wish, it's not any of that. It's, it's just telling you now you got a fight on your hands. It's taught me that you, you strive, you still strive, but you strive differently to be the best person you can be. The advice I can give them is don't get discouraged and work hard at the exercise. It is a journey of discovery. It just depends on how you approach that journey.